I'm going to have a look at how to solve equations using graphs. So first of all, we're going to draw these two graphs, y plus x equals 8 and 2y minus 3x equals 6. So let's look at the y plus x equals 8 first. Now what I think is a good way of doing these when you've got them like this is to actually just substitute values in. And the easiest values to substitute in are when x or y are naught. We know these are straight lines because there are no powers or any other functions. So therefore, let's let y equal naught to start off with. If we let y equals naught, the y is no longer part of the equation, it becomes zero. So x must just equal eight at y equals naught. So we can just plot the point here. Okay. And let's put a little cross here actually. Let's make it easier to see. And then if we let x equal naught, this becomes zero, so y must equal eight. And we can put a little cross here. Now we can see, actually, we could pick any combination of things which add up to give you 8. So 5 and 3. So we could plot 5 and 3 if we wanted. But we only really need two points to draw a line. And we can have 3 and 5 and so on. And we could have 6 and 2 and so on. Well, let's just draw that line there. Okay, so there's our line. That's the line y plus x equals 8. Well, let's now look at 2y minus 3x equals 6. When 2y minus 3x equals 6, we're going to try putting y equal to 0 first. So again, like I did before, that bit's no longer part of the equation. That's all 0. So we've just got minus 3x equals 6. So x must equal 6 divided by minus 3 which equals minus 2. So let's plot the point x equals minus 2 and y equals 0 there. And when x equals 0, all well, this becomes 0. So 2y must equal 6. So therefore, y will equal 6 divided by 2, which is 3. So let's plot that point there. And we can look for other combinations of points. You know, let's make kind of x equal to 1. So if that equals 1, you get minus 3, add it to both sides, you get 9, and you get y equals 4.5, so it'd be about there. Anyway, let's draw this line in as well. So a line that goes through these two points, and I'm going to try and draw that in. Here we go, going through these two points, there. Okay, and we can see those two lines. So this is the line y. Uh, 2y minus 3x equals 6. And where do they cross? Well, they're going to cross just here. They're going to cross at this point where we have x equal to 2 and y equal to 6. So the solution to our equation is x equals 2 and y equals 6. So let's just check that is true. Well, 2 and 6, 6 plus 2 equals 8, that works. If y equals 6, so you get 12 there. Minus 3 times 2, which is 6, 12 minus 6 equals 6. So we can check that works. And that gives us the solution of our two equations.